In today's video, I'll be teaching you how to produce this very beautiful soap using only palm oil, 100% palm oil soap, and I produce it using a very profitable recipe. So just relax and watch me do wonders with palm oil. Very simple and very profitable. Let's jump right in into the video. Okay, so we are here. So watch me as I do magic with palm oil. Very simple and straightforward recipe and also very profitable because in this recipe I'll be using equal amount of oil and water. I'll be using exactly 300 ml of oil and 300 ml of water. So just watch me. Look at this oil that I bleach. This oil is adulterated. That's why you can see that it's pink color. But nonetheless, we are still going to use it. Okay, so that's my palm oil. This is my caustic soda. That's my soda ash. And my calcium. I'll be adding a little bit of calcium. And that's my fragrance. And that is my sulfonic um, acid just to boost the foaming ability because we're using palm oil. So I've been producing it with it's very, very simple and just straightforward. Just watch me perform magic. Don't worry. I'm going to put the recipe in percentage in case you want to produce in larger quantity at the end of the video. I'm also still going to put, just, just watch, just watch, just understand it. The recipe will be at the end in percentage in case you want to produce in bigger badges. And that's my water. So you can, so you'll be able to use the percentage to produce a bigger bag. So what do I do? Okay, I'm turning my water. Remember, I use, I'm using 300 ml of water. That's my caustic soda. I've poured it into my water. I'm trying to make my light solution. If this is your first time coming across my channel, please do well to subscribe. Okay, that's my soda ash. Like I said, it's a very simple recipe. I'm adding my soda ash to this production. Ordinarily, I can even decide not to add it, but because soda ash also has a function in soap making, apart from... A, be, it being a filler. Soda ash also helps the foaming ability of the soap. Do you know that? Yes, because soda ash helps to break down hard water. When you're washing clothes with, with water that is hard, soda ash helps to break down the hardness of the water, thereby allowing your soap to lather well. Because if you're washing with hard water, it will be difficult for that soap to lather. But soda ash in the soap helps to break down the hard water, hardness of the water. Then it will now allow your soap, give your soap the chance, the ability to lather away. So yes, apart from it being a filler, it also helps the foaming ability of the soap. In itself, it is not a foaming agent. But because it will break down the hardness of the water, it will help your soap to lather away. So that's my oil. I added, I measured 300 ml of oil. So like I said, I'm using equal amount of oil and equal amount of water. So I'm using 300 ml of water and 300 ml of water. So that is me adding calcium. I've poured my calcium into my oil. So just watch me. This recipe is very, very simple. And it's also very profitable. But the recipe that will allow you to add equal amount of oil. Palm oil, for that matter, not even PKO, and equal amount of water. Yeah, the soap came out very, very hard, as hard as Olumarok. And I cut it the same day, the same evening, very, very hard. So I'm using 300 ml of, of water, 300 ml of my red oil, bleached red oil, bleached palm oil. So that is, I've, I've, I'm stirring my, my, I've added. Okay, so I've added my calcium, I've added it to my oil, and I'm stirring. I want to, you should stand it until it's very, very smooth. So that's my sulfonic acid. My sulfonic acid is a foaming agent here. It's, it's help, it will help to boost the foaming ability of the soap. You know we are using palm oil. And ordinarily, palm oil does not lather that much. So that's why we are adding an additional foaming agent so that to help the soap to foam very, very well. And if you see, this soap foams very, very well. So that is it. So I added my, I, I like a two-bowl thing. I have a bowl A and I have a bowl B. In my bowl A, I added my water 300 ml i added my caustic soda and i added my soda ash in my bobby i've added my oil i have my oil and i added calcium i added sulfonic acid and here i'm adding my fragrance i just added only 10 ml of fragrance and i stirred it you can see very simple recipe and straightforward i'm not stressing you at all so you can see how simple and how straightforward it is. like i said in this recipe i'm using equal amount of water to equal amount of of oil palm oil in that matter not costing not pickle and um, i've turned my bowl b into my bowl a 
and I'm so you can see it's as if I added color, right? I did not add color, but this palm oil is adulterated, and this is what people buy and they eat because I bought this oil from somebody that sells for the public to buy and eat. You can see it has color already. In this case, if you don't buy your oil in a very trusted uh, from a very trusted vendor, you might end up not producing a white soap because with this color, you, you it has already given your soap a color unless you want more of the pink color or maybe you add another color that will give it another color again but it, you will not be able to make a white soup with this oil so that's why you should always trust the vendor from where you buy so please if this is your first time on my channel if you're coming across this channel for the first time i beg you please subscribe to my channel as i give you value overload here each time and please if you have not liked this video up to this point i don't know what you're waiting for it will cost you nothing to like my video please click that like button and like it in fact after liking please tell me don't engage with the video please that youtube shows you to more persons that needs to see it. you can see what i'm doing for you give me a very very simple recipe you will see this soap came out very very hard just stay very very well just ensure you stay until it makes it well until it traces just stay Stay very, very well. I, I, I'm supposed to use a bigger bowl. This bowl is small. That's why you can see the splashes on my table. So when you want to make it, please use a bowl that already that has a little bit more space so that you, you, it will allow you to stir. Okay, I have to change my stirring. I have to change my spatula to this whisk so that I'll be able to give it a very good stir. You know, if you don't stir yourself very well, at the end, when you pour into your mold, the water tends to settle underneath, so I have to give it a very, very good stir. Okay, so we are done. You can see how simple. No stress at all. Very, very simple. Hmm, see how beautiful this soap is. Can you see the soap butter? Do you see how beautiful it is? Yes. And this soap came out very strong. You will see it. You will see, if I, you will see the soap at the end. And it forms very, very well. I would have used it to wash to let you see how it forms. Even if you think it is not forming as much as you want it to, please add more foaming agent. You can increase your soap. Okay, I was actually checking to see that there's no water underneath it. And there is no water. So let's wait and see when the soap of the fire. This soap came out very, very hard and very beautiful. And it forms very, very well. Like I said earlier, if you think you want it to foam better, then add more foaming agent. Like I said, I'm also checking to see that there's no water. And yes, there was no water because I gave it a very good stir. So just stir your soap very well. Very, very well. There will be no water underneath it. Please have you subscribed to my channel. This is your first time on my channel. Have you liked this video yet? If you have not, please, what are you waiting for? Like my video, please. Let YouTube show you to more persons than you see. This is the best, this is the best way you can say thank you to me. Please. It will cost you nothing to like my video. In fact, share. Okay. So here it is. The soap came out very, very strong. I'm cutting it the very same day. The very same day. You can see it's nice already. I was busy through the day. I was not chance to cut. If I had even cut it earlier, it would be fine. But well, this is nice, but because I want to cut it the same day, I don't want it to get to the next day. I'm cutting it this night. This is like 8 p.m. where I am, but I'm cutting this over and it came out very, very strong. Very strong. You can see I've shown you how to produce soap using palm oil, 100% palm oil, in a very simple and profitable way. So please, I beg you, like this video. If you know you want training on how to produce soaps profitably for business, send me a WhatsApp message on the number you're seeing on the screen. And I'll take it up from there. I'll teach you how to produce bar soap profitably even in business. Okay, so here comes the recipe in percentages. I'll also be leaving the exact quantity I use in the description. So check the description for the exact quantity that I used in this video. So check the description. You see the exact quantity I used here. But here it comes in percentages. So I can produce in bigger badges if you want. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you've subscribed. I hope you've liked and I hope you're sharing it. God bless you.